Hey there, Gamma Obscura here, continuing Ocarina of Time still in the Water Temple, but that's gonna change real soon, as all that's left is to fight the boss. You know, did have to cliffhang it last time. You know, it's just the way it goes. Because with the boss fight, this boss is a pain in the ass, and the cutscenes and all that stuff, it would have just, it would have been too long. So, it's just the way it goes, but here we go. Gammy, look out! That isn't normal water there. Let's get back to the outside, though. Or is that not gonna work? Do I have to start this on one of the pillars? Because that's, that's what's annoying, yeah. Alright, cutscene doesn't trigger unless you're in the middle of the room. Ugh. Man, I can't wait for this to be over. This is the worst... It's just the worst playthrough of this temple of all time. I challenge you to find a more convoluted and problematic just troublesome playthrough of this temple. And like, <laughs> but, you know, oh, make sure you make sure you dive in the hole in the tower and don't forget that key, you're gonna go crazy. And there's like two, two other keys that I totally just forgot about that were, I mean, equally as frustrating, if not more so, to try and find. I mean, just wow. But we've made it, however, we have to fight the boss. This boss is so annoying because the only way to, to do anything with it is to... You gotta grab it with the long shot, but the long shot, like... It's just obnoxious because... You know, the long shot aims where it was when you pulled the trigger on it, not where it... Where it is, you know... When you want it to be... Grabbed. If that makes any sense. So, like, the thing's constantly moving around, and it makes it really difficult to actually, you know, get a hold on this thing. And, I mean, that's just part of the challenge of it. And then we got a free hit on it, so that's kind of nice. Oh, another one. Oh, shit, hold on. It's gonna start bringing out, like, extra tentacles, and those ones will try and grab you then. If you can get it at the right angle... You'll, you'll be okay. But yeah, soon enough... Soon enough, we're gonna start seeing extra... Extra grabby things coming out at us. And, like, you don't want this thing touching you. Because it... It just wastes a bunch of time. You know, it throws you across the room. It's not pleasant. I don't like this boss fight. It's not as bad as Georg, or whatever the hell it's called in Great Bay Temple. That one's about a million times worse. Um, but it's still pain in the ass in its own right. Please don't grab me. Like, you gotta watch out for the spikes. It's just... Go! There we go. Gotta count for something. I guess if it's close enough to the edge, you can maybe just hack and slash at it, but I don't know. I don't know, I gotta get out of the way though, because I'm telling you, you don't want to get grabbed by the tentacle. And here you go, if you can get at this angle, there's a good chance you'll be able to get it. Now let's see, can I, can I grab it again? Grab it again. Nope, alright, alright, we gotta move, we gotta move. There's a tentacle surely coming up behind us. Yeah, there's where it would have been. At least this boss fight is going okay. That's it. Woo! Some form of redemption, I suppose. Pretty clean boss fight there. I think I backed into the spikes. That might be the only damage I took. But not bad. Not bad if I do say so myself. The the water, not water, just kind of goes up to the ceiling and then explodes or something. I don't really understand it myself either, but like the last little bits of your pee right there yikes okay so don't it's actually really easy to miss the heart container if you're rushing because like you run right into the middle of the room you're gonna get kicked out where is the heart container there it is so there we go we have what 12 hearts now that's nice yeah 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 all right let's get the hell out of here See the cutscene? Like, who's the Sage of Water? Well, we know it's... We know it's Princess Rudo. I mean, it has to be. She's the one that came in here. Everyone that we meet in the temple turns out to be the Sage. 
What's this gonna do for our wedding plans, though? Like, if she's trapped in the Chamber of the Sages... You know, I don't know if I'm down for a long-distance relationship here. Rudo, we gotta talk about this. We gotta figure something out here. What's going on? Gammy. I would have expected no less from the man I chose to be my husband. Zora's domain and his people will eventually return to their original state. Well, that's good. Because right now it's just a solid block of ice. Oh, I get her eternal love. Well, that's cool. Oh. Oh. Well, that's sad. She wants to love me, but she can't. She has to guard the water temple as a sage of water. I'm searching for the Princess Zelda. Ha! You can't hide anything from me. Oh, she knows I've been playing behind her back. Oh, man. We've been caught, but you know what? I think we're free anyways. I think we're free because, I mean, she's stuck here. So, what can we do? We got a medallion. I mean, I pretty much bailed on the relationship anyways. I just ditched her engagement ring at the at the door of time. And, and you know, seven years locked away. I, not, I didn't know that I was going to be locked away for seven years. But, you know, at least she, she doesn't really hold it against me. She was angry at first. But... We have to give Sheik Princess's thanks. So there we go. Is the is the lake gonna fill back up? Then I can finally go fishing. Yay! We can take a well-deserved fishing trip. Oh. As the water rises, the evil is vanishing from the lake. Gammy, you did it! Hey Sheik, uh, Princess Rudo says thanks, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> love the Link's reaction of surprise is hysterical. Yes, Ruta did want to thank you. She sure did. Yep, let's return peace. That's what it's all about. Look at that, Gammy. Together, you and Princess Ruta destroyed the evil monster. Once again, the lake is filled with pure water, all as it was here. Well, until I, I'm gonna go swim and pee in it, and then it won't be pure anymore. So calm and peaceful. What's going on here? This is creepy. I just stealthily backs away. What? Where did Sheik go? Oh, he's up in the tree. He's up in the tree there. You can't hide from me. What the hell? Quite a dive. All right, well now, now that we've got the water in the lake, there's a plaque over here. I didn't read it before, but we see this plaque and it's like, when water fills the lake, shoot for the morning light. All right. And it just so happens to be morning. Like it was nighttime when it had just turned to nighttime when we went in there. So we, we were in there all night, multiple nights. We were probably in there for like a week. Good Lord. Sloppiest run of that dungeon. I can even possibly imagine. But yeah, we shoot the sun. We shoot the sun and we get what looks like the fire arrows. So that'll be nice. There's... I don't know what... what uh, Maybe that's a scarecrow part. Sometimes Navi just flies away and turns green. And I think that means that you can use the scarecrow song. But I'm not entirely sure. I never activated that as a child. And... I need to go back to being a kid. I mean, really, I do. That's, like, the next thing I have to do as part of the main gameplay. But there's, like, the mask stuff. There's so much of the mask stuff that I haven't done yet. And it'd be nice to get some of that taken care of. Just to do it. Just to do it. I mean, it's not required to finish the game. But uh, whatever. So let's go fishing. Things are going to be a little bit different. How's this guy been doing for seven years? Like, yeah. <laughs> no customers. No customers. Hey, he's wearing a hat now. Hey, mister, let's play soccer. Now, people, how many years has it been? Seven years? What have you been doing all this time? What about you? You're my only customer. I'm almost out of business. Seriously, yeah, because no one could get in here. Oh, wait, my hair. Oh, he's gone bald. All right, yeah, let's go fishing. It's 20 rupees. Let's do it. Oh, no, you don't have a rumble pack. Yeah, we know. No rumble for you. Come back. Seven years. Alright, I think I made that joke last time. 
Blah, blah, blah. Yes, I understand. Let's fish. So, where is the big, big fish? I think he's over here. I don't know. I'll know it when I see it. I mean, we don't have to catch, like, the biggest fish in the pond. But... Yeah, I think, it, I think it's almost in the same spot as the other one. It's either over here or it's by where the other bits of wood are sticking out. But let's just see if we can catch this one. That's a pretty big one. Come on. Look at my delicious bobber. No, what a bastard. Alright, we got it. We got it. Man, that took way too long. And this thing is giving us a battle. It better not get away. Ooh, look at them flopping around. This is a big one. I love how it plays like the battle theme as you're reeling it in. Because, like, this to this fish, like, oh, you son of a bitch. You absolute son of a bitch. I'm so upset right now. It's like, since I lost that one, all the fish have just gone to the middle of the pond. So, we'll just... Hopefully this resets the area or something. Alright. We're not letting it get away this time. We're not letting it get away this time. We're so close. Like, seriously, like, I can't reel in any harder. Honestly, like, my thumb is gonna have the imprint of the joystick for the rest of my life. I might just snap this thing off. Seriously now. Fish. You're mine. Like, how close? There we go. Holy shit. That thing is gigantic. Oh my gosh, this fish is gigantic. A fish this big can't even fit on the screen and I can't weigh it accurately, but it looks like it's about 20 pounds. Holy crap, you'll want to keep this one, right? Yeah, we'll keep it. Holy crap. My thumb hurts, like, real bad. All right, let's turn that in and we'll get the reward. Damn, my thumb is, like, purple now. Whoa! This fish is huge! It looks like a new record. It weighs at least 20 pounds. Seriously! Okay, here's your prize. Yeah, so for all that, we get the golden scale. And now we can dive way deeper. And this... It doesn't have a whole lot of... Oh, yeah, yeah, whatever. Fine, take the damn fishing rod. I don't want it. I'm never gonna see you again. You're gonna go out of business. Thanks for the golden scale. Let's go use it for, like, the one thing it's actually useful for. I'm trying to think when else you really need to dive deep. Like, deep, deep. As a requirement for something that, you know, without it, you wouldn't even be able to beat the game. And I don't know if there is... If there is anything. I mean, obviously, if you want to complete it fully, you know, you'll have to get it. But... Is that Skulltilla? There's a Skulltilla on the side of this house, but that, that might be only when you're a kid, so whatever. Um, yeah, so let's just use this for the thing that we're going to use it for. And that's in the laboratory. You, you jump down into the water, and you dive. And if you dive all the way to the bottom, I mean, like, and there's money down there, and that's cool. Yeah, if you touch the bottom, you make the old man really happy. And I think we get a piece of heart, I think. Or is the piece of heart in the box there? I don't know. We'll go back in with the iron boots. We touched the bottom just now. Fantastic. I'll give this to you. Yeah, so there's the piece of heart. And we have two pieces of heart. I'm, I'm just going to check and see if there's anything in that crate. Oh, yeah, there's a gold skulltula. All right. Well, that was worth it then. And while I'm down here, I'll just fetch all these rupees. And then we'll just float back on out of here. So we'll uh, we'll see you back in the lab. Is that a shark? Holy shit. Now, where do we go from here? We went to the forest, the mountain, the lake. What did he say there was? Like the house of the dead and goddess of the sand. So house of the dead. That must mean we got to go to the graveyard. So I guess we'll just go to Kakariko. And I'll see you there. God, I'm such a dumbass. I ran like halfway across Hyrule Field before realizing like, hey, I can just call my horse and get there in half the time. So that's what I did, but here we are. So, uh, oh shit, what? What is this? What's happening? 
It's on fire? Shoot. How? Oh my goodness. Oh, there's Sheik. Sheik, what have you done? Surely you're responsible for this. No, Sheik. This is like Sheik's hometown. Sheik is pissed. Get back, Gammy. Get back to where you once belonged. The hell? Oh shit. Uh oh. Whoa! What the hell? What? Yeet! Just. It was a very feminine yelp, though. That's interesting. What is this? It's TV static, is what it is. Yeah, Gammy, come on, you ain't doing shit there. <laughs> Dang, that thing's kicking my ass. Totally blacked out. Well, at least it rained and put the fire out, so that's nice. Looks like you're coming around. Oh, really? Okay. Gammy, a terrible thing has happened. The evil shadow spirit has been released. Impa, the leader of Kakarikoch village, has sealed the evil shadow spirit in the bottom of the well. With the force of the evil spirit got so strong, the seal of the well broke and it escaped into the world. Uh-oh. Every turd you ever flushed has come back to life. Oh, so Impa went to the shadow temple to seal it again. Okay, so we're going to the Shadow Temple. She's one of the sages. No! Not Impa. She's going to be trapped in the Chamber of Sages forever. Let's see. Oh, we get the melody that leads us to the Shadow Temple. There we go. Because the only way you can get to the Shadow Temple is by warping to it. There's no other way. I'm pretty sure anyways. I don't know. Some speedrunner probably knows a way to do it. It's probably some weird glitch or something. But as far as I know, and certainly the most convenient way, is to just warp there with this song. So, like, look at those calves, man. Sheik is in very good shape. But there we go. Let's get this wonderful shot of the windmill. We've learned the Nocturne of Shadow. Cool. Let me take care of the village. I'm counting on you, Gammy. And I think we're gonna cut it off here. We're gonna end it here. And... I mean, we can't go to the Shadow Temple yet. There's one more thing we gotta do, and we'll see it next time. Hope to see you there. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.